Today, you will discover the secret tactics of today's most dangerous hackers. What would you do if years of hard work, an entire PhD thesis, your career, your future was suddenly stolen from you, held hostage by hackers demanding a ransom you can't pay? Or do you actually think it can never be you? Well, this happened to a PhD student in Nigeria whose thesis, the product of five long years of research, was encrypted by a ransomware attack. He couldn't afford the ransom and as a result, faced the terrifying possibility of losing everything he had worked so hard to achieve. Now think about that for a moment. What would you do if everything you've built, your business, your data, your livelihood was suddenly in the hands of cyber criminals? Would you pay the ransom? Would you even know how to respond? And this is not a distant hypothetical scenario. It's happening every day all over the world. I'm your host, Tolilokwe Michael, cybersecurity expert and career coach at XMI Cyber. In the next few minutes, you'll be discovering the emerging cyber threats and latest tactics being used by some of the most dangerous threat actors on the planet and how to protect your organization or business against them. It's nothing like the world has experienced before now. And trust me, you want to be prepared. Now, before we jump right in, hit that like button, subscribe and share so others can find this video as well. Now, it's 2024 and those of us who have been in cybersecurity for a while can tell you categorically that the cyber threat landscape has evolved beyond anything we've seen before. It's no longer just about annoying viruses or basic phishing scams. We are talking about ransomware as a service, RAAS. Yes, ransomware as a service operations, nation state attacks. That is what we're talking about. AI powered hacking tools and highly targeted attacks that are changing the game completely. And no one is safe. Not the government, not big corporations, not small businesses, and certainly not individuals like you or your neighbor. In all honesty, this is no longer just about protecting data. It's a battle to safeguard our livelihoods, our reputations, and as it is turning out to be the case, our very futures. So let's start with ransomware, which has become one of the most financially devastating cyber threats of our time. Over the past few years, ransomware attacks have surged by over 150%, largely due to the rise of RAS models. Remember, RAS means ransomware as a service, which have made it easier than ever for even low-level criminals to launch sophisticated attacks. The Nigeria Guy story I told you earlier is not a standalone event. In fact, cases like that started a while back and it seems they are only happening more often now. In 2023, the story of a PhD student from Bhopal, India also made headlines. While he was working on his thesis one day, a project he has spent over four years researching, he suddenly lost access to all of his files. And guess what? He was already wrapping up the final chapters. As usual, the screen displayed a message from a ransomware group demanding thousands of dollars in exchange for unlocking the data. Of course, he couldn't afford to pay, but fortunately, he managed to retrieve part of his work through old backups. But the emotional and academic toll was immense. These kinds of attacks are becoming more and more common, and they are eating not just individuals, but also businesses, hospitals, universities, and even local government. Like Baltimore City in 2019, a ransomware attack brought the city to a standstill, disrupting services from water bills to real estate sales, so many things. The ransom demanded was $76,000 in Bitcoin, but the cost of recovery was over $18 million due to the extensive disruption to an effort to restore systems and data. But all of this will leave one wondering, how does this even happen? 
The fact is, many things can actually go wrong, but some of the most common ways attackers find their way into systems is by exploiting phishing emails, software vulnerabilities, or even misconfigured cloud services. Once inside a system, they quickly spread malware that encrypts all files, rendering them useless until a ransom is paid. Now here is a statistic that should scare anyone who runs a business. Over 25% of businesses that fall victim to ransomware never fully recover. Meaning, even if you manage to regain access to your files, the reputational damage, loss of clients, and financial costs are often too much to bear. So what can you do? The key here is preparation. I know it sounds simple. In fact, it is simple, but we are humans and humans make mistakes. Humans forget. Humans can be deceived. However, the best place to start would be backing up your data. But don't just rely on cloud services. In case you didn't know, those can be compromised too. Instead, use offline backups that are disconnected from your network. In addition to that, consider investing in managed detection response services mdr okay these are advanced tools that continuously monitor your network for suspicious activity and can help stop ransomware in its tracks before it does any damage also we're seeing a dramatic shift in how cyber criminals operate they are no longer launching broad unsophisticated attacks they are not doing that this time around, they are getting targeted and super precise. They're using AI-powered tools and exploiting weaknesses in supply chains to create chaos at an unprecedented scale. One of the most alarming trends we see now is the rise of AI-driven attacks. Cyber criminals now use AI to automate large-scale phishing campaigns, making it easier to target thousands of individuals at once. But AI isn't just helping criminals send more phishing emails, it's helping them craft more convincing, personalized messages that mimic legitimate communications. You know, before now, you are taught to look out for spelling errors, grammatical blunders, and all that. But cyber criminals use the same AI tools you use, like ChatGPT and even Grammarly. Now, imagine receiving an email that looks like it's from your boss. Or it's from your bank asking you to update your login credentials the email is perfectly crafted right down to the tone and style of writing you wouldn't think twice about clicking the link right that is how ai is making phishing so much more dangerous today these deep fake phishing emails are nearly impossible to distinguish from the real deal which is why security awareness training is more important now than ever before. Deepfake technology, which once sounded like a sci-fi nightmare, has now evolved to a point where hackers can generate realistic audio and video impersonations. We're already seeing criminals use deepfakes to mimic CEOs and executives, tricking employees into wiring money or sharing sensitive data. Now, with the rapid advancement in AI, these fakes are becoming very accurate down to the facial expressions and speech patterns. This is why security awareness training isn't just a good to have, it's a must have. Deepfakes are making cyber attacks more sophisticated and harder to detect. And without a proper training, employees can easily fall victim to these advanced tactics. Then there's the supply chain threat. Cyber criminals are no longer just targeting big corporations directly they are going after their smaller, less secure partners. In fact, this tactic has proven highly effective as it allows hackers to infiltrate larger networks through this vulnerable entry point. We saw this happen with Target in 2013 when they suffered a massive data breach because of a third-party HVAC vendor whose weak cybersecurity protocols gave attackers access to Target's internal system. If you're a cybersecurity professional, the responsibility to ensure your organization is protected rests with you. So the question is, how do you go about it? Let's take a look at this. You want to start by securing your supply chain. 
This means vetting every vendor, ensuring they have robust cybersecurity protocols, and requiring multi-factor authentication for everyone who has access to your systems. This is one of the things vendor risk management is all about. Get more familiar with it, okay? Now, all of this might seem like a hassle, but it's worth it to avoid becoming the next victim on a steadily increasing list of supply chain attacks. But the plot gets thickens because now we are moving on to talk about nation state actors, the most sophisticated and dangerous players in the cyber world. These are groups sponsored by government, often with geopolitical moves that go beyond just financial gain. Countries like Russia, China and North Korea are backing advanced persistent threat groups whose sole purpose is to conduct long-term espionage campaigns against critical infrastructures, governments and businesses. These are not your typical cyber criminals, okay? They've got vast resources, time and expertise at their disposal. Their goal is to gather intelligence, disrupt operations and then gain a strategic advantage over other nations. One particular notorious group you might have heard about is Wicked Panda. Yes, very apt name, <laughs> don't you think? Well, they are a Chinese apt group that has been involved in espionage campaigns targeting everything from healthcare to government agencies. Now take the solar winds attack in 2020 where nation state actors, Russia being the main suspect, infiltrated the networks of major US government agencies, including the Pentagon and the Department of Homeland Security. The attackers gained access through a vulnerability in SolarWinds Orion software, which was used by thousands of organizations around the world. This attack went undetected for months and exposed sensitive information at the highest level of government. So, how do you defend against nation state actors, especially considering the resources they have access to? The answer lies in adopting a zero trust security model. Yes, in simple terms, zero trust means not assuming that anyone or anything inside your network is trustworthy. It means do not trust anybody and anything. Every device, every user, every access point needs to be continuously verified. Network segmentation also comes in handy here as it prevents attackers from moving freely across your network once they are inside. So we've covered a lot of ground today, but there's one theme that runs through all of this. The future of cybersecurity will be shaped by our ability to stay ahead of emerging threats, period. To say cybercrime is evolving at an unprecedented rate seems like an understatement already. And the tactics we see today will only become more sophisticated in the coming years. One of the most important steps you can take is to shift your focus from reactive measures to proactive defenses. This means investing in real-time monitoring tools like using AI for anomaly detection and collaborating with other organizations to share threat intelligence. Okay? Cybersecurity is not just an IT issue anymore. It's a strategic move that should be at the forefront of your business operations. Education is another critical piece of the puzzle. As we've seen, humans are often the weakest link in any cybersecurity system. Regular training on how to recognize phishing emails, avoid social engineering traps, and follow best security practices is essential. And don't forget to educate your vendors and partners as well, because after all, your security is only as strong as the weakest link in your supply chain. And finally, I need to emphasize the importance of collaboration. Cybersecurity can be tackled in isolation. Government, businesses, and individuals need to work together, sharing information, resources, and strategies to stay ahead of the curve. The more we collaborate, the harder it will be for cyber criminals to exploit our weaknesses. It's like the analogy about the broom. It's easy to break a stick, but a lot more effort is needed to break a bundle. Now, as we wrap up, 
let me leave you with this. The next great cyber attack is not a matter of if, but when. Whether you're a PhD student trying to protect years of research or a small business owner, safeguarding customer data or a cybersecurity professional on the front lines, the time to act is now. The threats we face are real, the damage they can cause is catastrophic. But we are not totally helpless. What we need is the right information like this one that I just shared with you and timely action. And in my usual manner, I hope I'm leaving you today better than how I met you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth cybersecurity content. Protect what matters most to you. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye for now.